What more could he possibly have done? How low could he possibly have gone? How much more could he possibly have done to show you that he loved you, but to also for God to show you that he was going to break the back of sin, that he was going to take the scapegoat and carry it outside the camp, that he was going to offer up the sin sacrifice that would be a sweet-smelling savor in the nostrils of God, that however low that you get, however sorry you are in your condition, however depraved that your sin becomes, Christ tasted your death. You ought to be doing some thinking about where you're going when you leave this world. There's one thing that is absolutely certain, and you ought to know this. You should know it and come to face with it. Come to the facts and settle this. You are going to die. The good news is that God loves you. He gave His Son to die for you. He will forgive you of your sins. He will give you eternal life tonight. You don't have to wait till tomorrow. Tonight. That's the good news. But you must receive it. You are from this world, but I am not from this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. And you will die in your sins if you do not believe that I am who I am.